I'm the big OD. I'm an output device. Take info from the comp, send it to all my gang. I'm soft. I'm hard. That's just how I roll. My peeps must be equipped to send the correct form. All my peeps, gather around, shout out what you do. Help these students raise up their output IQ. I'm a HCOD, HCOD, a hard copy output device. I print info on paper you can see and touch. That makes me HCOD. I'm a SCOD, a SCOD, a soft copy output device you can see the info on the computer screen see it but you can't touch it with your hands hear the sound from the speaker clear and loud that makes me a scod what a lot of learning going on today come learn a little more from the output cache there are four different types let me tell you real quick audio video text and graphics I'm the big OD, I'm an output device, take info from the comp, send it to all my gang. I'm soft, I'm hard, that's just how I roll. My peeps must be equipped to send the correct form. Yes, my peeps must be equipped to send the correct form. Yes, my peeps must be equipped to send the correct form. Where are the peeps? Hi again, everyone. I am your peep, Miss Tiffany Lee. And today, we will be looking at the topic of output devices. Output devices are devices that send information from the computer, quite the opposite of the input devices that actually allow data to be entered into the computer. Let's dive in. There are two categories of output devices. They are hard copy output and soft copy output. Exactly, just like you saw in my little song just now. Now, hard copy output, it's quite straightforward. It's hard copy of an information sent out from the computer. So this is printed text or graphics, etc. And soft copy output is that information which is still in the computer in an electronic form. You can see it, but you can't tangibly interact with it, right? It is still in electronic form in the computer system, okay? So soft copy output, you'll find it in form of seeing it on your screen, you can hear it through the speakers, just like you heard in the song just now. Now, there are four types of output overall. Yes, you heard it. Audio, text, video, and graphics. These are the four types of output you will ever experience. Audio, as I said before, that which you can hear. Any sound pretty much is considered audio. Text, that is, text characters printed form or electronic form otherwise hard copy or soft copy that is um sent from the computer then of course there's graphics these are your pictures your drawings etc so we've looked at audio we've looked at text and graphics and all that's left is video so of course these are moving pictures motion pictures that you can see that's moving so fast it seems like it's one continuous thing all right, that's what the last output is. In order for these different types of output to come out of the computer or information to leave the computer, we must have the devices to facilitate them. So you have hard copy output devices and soft copy output devices. Soft copy output devices are like your monitor and your speaker. You can interact with the information by seeing but you can't touch it. So that's what soft copy output devices are. Devices that give a soft copy version of the information. And of course, hard copy are devices that give a hard copy output of the information. That is your printer. Now, there are different types of printers that exist. Impact printers, non-impact printers, and plotters. Side note, did you know that the plotter was one of the first printers to print in color? Read it up. Now, I'm going to allow you to also read up on your impact and non-impact printers because reading make it up. Because reading make it a man. All right. It's study tip time. Who said studying can't be fun? Let's find out new and interesting ways to study and not fall asleep while doing it. 
here is your study tip for today. You want it, you got it. Simply reading over your notes because your teacher said so is not enough. You have to want to learn the content and have a willingness to understand it. Then, when you go to study it, it won't just be content anymore. It will gradually become a part of your long-term knowledge. Thank you for sharing my channel. Thank you for subscribing to it. Thank you for liking my videos and commenting below them. Continue to watch as I continue to think up new ways to create interactive, awesome content for you to see each week here on the Busy Teachers channel. All right, I'm your Busy Teacher and I'm honored to have you all. Peace out and remember, for what lasting values a good day if it is not also a godly day. Bye.